Synology Active Backup for Business makes it easy to backup and restore virtual machines in VMware vSphere. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a VMware backup task and restore the virtual machines using Active Backup for Business. Before you start, please install Active Backup for Business on your Synology NAS. For the compatible model list and supported VMware additions, please visit the link in the description. Active Backup for Business supports agentless backup protecting your virtual workloads without a troublesome installation. To create a VM backup task, launch Active Backup for Business, go to Virtual Machine tab and click Manage VMware vSphere. Add to connect to VMware vSphere. Then, select the virtual machines you want to backup and click Create Task to launch the backup wizard. Follow the wizard to select a shared folder as the destination. Specify the task name and configure related backup settings. Set up a backup schedule and define your retention policy. Click Apply to start your backup. Next, we'll introduce different recovery options in Active Backup for Business. We've deleted the backed up VM from VMware vSphere, so on the interface, you'll see unknown VM in the list. For different disaster recovery scenarios, Active Backup for Business provides three recovery methods, including Instant Restore to VMware, Full Restore to VMware, and Instant Restore to Synology Virtual Machine Manager, VMM. We'll first demonstrate Instant Restore to VMware, which allows you to instantly start a VM directly from a backup file, minimizing the service downtime in case of host failure. Select the virtual machines you'd like to restore, click Restore, Instant Restore to VMware, Select a restore point and mode. Click Apply to restore VMs and you will be automatically directed to restore status to monitor the restore progress. After the restore task is completed, the last step is to click Migrate to transfer the instantly restored VM back to the production site. When the critical service is down, Instant Restore to VMware makes NAS a data store for the hypervisor with extremely low RTOs in seconds but I.O. performance will be limited. If you expect full I.O. performance, you can recover full VM by selecting Full VM Restore. Besides these two recovering options, the integration with Synology Exclusive Virtual Machine Manager, VMM, turns Synology NAS into a temporary DR site if the main production site goes down, instantly running your backup image on your NAS. It can also serve as a temporary upgrade testing environment without affecting the production site. To have this backup option available, please install Virtual Machine Manager on your NAS first. Select the VM you want to restore and click Restore, Instant Restore to Synology Virtual Machine Manager VMM. Configure the virtual machines you want to run a Synology VMM and select a recovery point of time. Follow the Synology VMM wizard and configure the settings for the VMs. Click Apply and VM Backup will be imported to Synology VMM. Launch Virtual Machine Manager to power on the selected VMs to continue your services. Different models have different recommended numbers of virtual machines. Please check it in the FAQ. With Active Backup for Business, you can easily backup and restore your VMs using a modern approach. What's more, it's license-free no matter how many VM hosts you're going to backup. To learn more about Active Backup for Business, visit the link in the description.